Hello gamers and thank you for watching. In a press release, Ubisoft outlined the new strategy for the rest of the fiscal year, which ends on 30th of April and also for the period following it. The press release calls out Mario Rabbit's Sparks of Hope as underperforming in the final weeks of 2022 and early January, despite an ambitious marketing plan. Just Dance 2023 underperformed as well. Ubisoft is also dealing Skull and Bones for the sixth time, and it's also cancelling three unannounced projects on top of the four it already cancelled last year. Skull and Bones could be expected to be out between April 30th and December 23, but it remains to be seen how things might evolve. The game will be a tactical naval combat game set in the Indian Ocean during the 1600s. We don't need to worry because we still have some big games to expect from Ubisoft. They will be releasing Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which was already delayed once, which will be an open-world action-adventure game in the universe of James Cameron's Avatar films. Players will take control of a navi and explore a never-before-seen region of Pandora called the Western Frontier. We also have Assassin's Creed Mirage somewhere in 2023. The game depicts a version of the Assassin's Creed that's much closer to the original games. It won't be such a massive open world game as the more recent ones and the story focus will be more linear with fewer RPG elements. Ubisoft also said they have other premium unannounced games including a larger one, so it remains to be seen what these are. Other games to expect in 2023 are The Settlers, which will be releasing on February 17th, and Tom Clancy's The Division Heartland, which doesn't have an exact release date as of yet. So plenty of stuff from Ubisoft, let me know in the description below which gets you the most excited. Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe, and I wish you all the best, goodbye.